Hey guys, the solar panels are installed on the roof of the van. Yay! Okay, we finally got it up there. I ended up not using the block and tackle because my son and his friend, uh, my son Lucas and his friend Brandon were here and so they helped me just lift it up there. Um, we got it up most of the way and then Lucas got on the other side while we held it and then we, we hoisted it back up to him while he pulled a little bit so it wouldn't go all the way over on the other side. But I wanted to show it to you. I told you I would. There's the second set of uprights. Okay. And as you can see, let me get a little closer. You've got the outside support that is the uh, crossbar. And then the inside um, butts up to it. And then I have a bracket that holds them both together and kind of cups the bottom. And there is two brackets on top that will hold it down as well. So it's sandwiched both ways. I taped up the wires so that they wouldn't flop around until I get them hooked up. And I made brackets. Hope the lighting is okay. I have a tie down point there. Um, I went ahead and drilled a hole there because it was extra. And I thought, well, I might need a spot to tie that down. <laughs> oh, that little girl's a terror. She is really throwing a fit right now. She lives over there in this fifth wheel. She's spoiled rotten. Love her to death, but she's spoiled rotten. Anyway, I made this center section myself. I had one and a half inch metal uh, steel tubing, and then I had that angle that was an aluminum angle, and so I used that for the brackets. Except for I had two aluminum brackets that were that I found in a dumpster that I used on the front corners, and those worked out really well. And, uh... Oh, I also have installed vent visors on my windows those actually go on the inside of the door of the window frame which I wanted the ones that stuck on the outside but that's what they came in when I ordered them so that's why I used them hope they stay I also got a dash rug for the van to keep the Sun off the dash so it doesn't mess it up here's a picture of the front now I did notice that this van is narrower in the back than it is in the front because the crossbars are the exact same width. But the back support is at more of an angle. So, but I mean, it's still solid. You can't, you can't rattle that at all. It's on there solid. And uh, those pipes that I was trying to use to protect the top of the van did not work. Uh, so I scratched the paint up all, all to pieces. I'll have to touch that up. I used house paint for the top of the van. I sprayed it and tried to make it look really, really good. I didn't just roll it on like, you know, a redneck or nothing. Um, but as you can see in places, it got boogered, like right there. So I'm gonna have to sand that down and touch it up, but that's okay. I can do that. In this open area, in the back, let me get over here on top of this thing. Maybe I get you guys a good view of that step up okay. there's the top of the panels I can't see how good of a view you got but that's them but the open area there's going to be a roof vent right in there somewhere okay I'm gonna have the roof vent And uh, let me step back down so I don't fall and hurt myself. The inside of the van is just totally trash because I was hauling stuff in it. i got to clean it out again. But these are gutter mounts. These are really hard to find for a high top van. It's basically only one manufacturer. Manufacturer, God, I can't even talk. Um, I bought these off of eBay. They've gone up. They were $300 and something dollars for the pair. Now it's like $500, right? I mean, I'm glad I bought them when I did. Right? And they sat over there for a while, I mean, like, like three or four months before I put them on. But they go up really high. If I'd had one of those super high top vans, you know, with like the two foot top, it would have still worked, I think. But we got it up there. And I've been driving around for a couple of days, and, it's, and I've checked everything, and they're still tight. I plan on checking all the bolts and stuff as I go regularly to make sure nothing's loosening up. Everything was put up with those... Uh, nylon locking nuts 
so anyway there it is didn't break them didn't break a hole in the roof of my van but I did booger up the paint pretty good in several places but I just got to fix that that's no problem the top has actually got more scratches on it than the side because of the bottoms of the screw heads <coughs> which is why I was trying to get those um, pipes to protect it anyway if you guys would hit the thumbs up like comment subscribe tell all your friends all that kind of good stuff and y'all come back to see me